Welcome back to the series where I take you along as we take our 1970s home from dated to dreamy. You have seen us do so many projects in here to get to this point and we are finally ready to start adding in the things that will make our Spanish cottage aesthetic a reality. We are trying to do as many things as possible to keep our budget down including lots of DIY and using lots of thrifted items. Some stunning details went into our bathroom makeover this week. I am so excited to show you what those are as well well as what we thrifted. Hey Benji, good morning. <laughs> we moved in. Kind of camping, so <laughs> we have one bathroom and it has only a bathtub, so that's been interesting. And we also have no like overhead lights. We have like maybe two of them, so it's like really dark in here. <laughs> I tried to find like the brightest window, but of course I'm like backlit. And today is going to be part one of our bathroom makeover. Now this makeover is happening fast because our handyman Dennis is pretty much doing the whole thing. He's outside right now cutting something. <laughs> I'm going to show you part one of that makeover as well as my biggest thrifted purchase ever. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. I am in love. So I will show you that a little bit later in today's video. You might be getting a sneak peek right now. Let me go ahead and show you the bathroom. I'm just getting moving for the day. My hair is still wet. But before Dennis gets here and I don't want to be like in his way, I'm going to show you what he's been working on because it is amazing. So right behind me is the wall that we raised the ceiling on. It had like that drop ceiling with the fluorescent lights inside. So that is raised. We have new lighting installed up above it, like a pendant light, I guess. We're not exactly sure. It'll probably be like more of a flush mount. And then we also have two sconces to the sides of the vanity. Let me show you the best part. This, I am obsessed with this. He did this in all in one day, all the drywalling in here and the insulation and like boxing stuff out for us to have like a little niche inside the shower to put like shampoos and stuff. We're gonna have it all tiled in the inside part here with marble, we believe, we think. I'm not exactly sure, 100%, but we have a little bit of a design predicament because as you can see, this side butts up against the wall, so there's a 90 degree angle here that we have to kind of wrap or do something there. But this side goes directly to a flat wall. There's no like 90 degree anything to curve around. So we're trying to figure out how to make it look symmetrical, but still make it look finished. I've been so busy all day that I um, didn't even realize that Dennis isn't even here anymore. He must have left. So I'm gonna go see what he did. <laughs> Come, let's go see. Oh, look at this. Okay, it's really dark in here. Let me do that. So it looks like he taped. There's all of this tape and a little bit of like drywall compound on there, the mud. He put up all of the cement board in here. That's awesome. Ooh, and there's our little niche. I told him to make it as big as he could because we have a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay, the boys are sleeping. So are you guys ready to see the biggest thrift find that we have ever found? The most expensive thrift find for sure. Probably the biggest as well, actually. <laughs> here it is. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> It's these! So we found these slip covered Potter Barn. I think it's called York style with the sloped arms that I love. I love them so much. And we also found this chair that swivels. This is the slip cover for this one. It just came out of the wash. So let me go ahead and put that on. I have never really bought high-end furniture, and so this blows my mind that these would have been four grand new. And I will tell you in just a second how much we spent, which y'all know I never spend much on my furniture or anything. This chair makes me feel really small because I can't put my feet on the floor, but it's new. Somebody woke up. These are just perfect. That we got them. I'll have to put it on the screen. I, we got them for like, I think 1200, both of them. I have to figure out the layout of this room. So right now I have them laid out as like a rectangle here with this chair here. No, it's kind of weird, I think. I think it might just be because of this table being so long. More, more goldfish? Okay, here you go, sir. Yeah, yum, yum, yum. Okay, so I think that this table, this coffee table here might have to go, even though it's kind of special because it's actually very special. It was one of my first DIYs. It's covered in pennies and then resin on top. My mother-in-law helped me do it. I found this piece in the trash in her neighborhood and we like turned it into this. 
it's like $17 worth of pennies on here and it is heavy. <laughs> so maybe I could sell it for something. I don't know. Is that illegal to sell money that you resined into a table? More? <laughs> okay, this kid needs a snack. Actually, Dominic is about to get home with another thrift find, so <laughs> I'll show you what he brings home in just a second. What is that? Oh my gosh. Look at this. Babe, this is so much. It's beautiful. There's only half of it. Okay, I am filling up the gas tank and we are headed to Home Depot. It is like less than an hour until they close at 10 and I need to pick up the grout for tomorrow as well as the tiles and the shower faucet that we had like ordered. So let's try to get this done before they close. <laughs> Okay, I thought I would show you guys. I changed my mind about countertops. I wanted to do white countertops, but I'm leaning towards this one. It's called Soapstone. I saw it on Instagram and just kind of like fell in love with a design picture of this one. I'll insert it. And I think that this is gonna look really nice to give some contrast in there and not be like too busy with the floor since they're very swirling. We're back. We made it in time. Got some caulk, got some tiles. So let's do a little unboxing awkwardly here sitting on the floor in my like no lighting to speak of bathroom. So this is the tile that's going to be on the floor. It's like barely any. And this is when I should have realized that I did not order enough. <laughs> I'll explain that in just a bit. I love it. It's the hexagons in this like terracotta with a grout shower faucet. Watch to make these things difficult. Got it. There we go. Pretty nice. All right. <laughs> I guess he's putting this in tomorrow, so I'll update you on how this looks. We have about like a thousand pounds of tile to move from our car to the backyard. So let's go do that. Yeah, out here is just like non existent, but I have to record this because this is insanity. <laughs> 10 p.m. and we have to unload all of this tile. Dominic is still writing his notes so that his patients get orders, get their medicines. <laughs> and so I'm gonna start moving all this. Our neighbors must think we are insane. <laughs> Sleep. They're probably about to wake up because I rested a little bit as well once they got to sleep. We have been going like non-stop and yeah, <laughs> we're exhausted. But we have a little tile dilemma. So another crazy Facebook Marketplace find for this video. This is probably just going to be the title of the video, like crazy Facebook Marketplace finds or something. But we found this beautiful Saltillo tile. If you guys know anything about Saltillo tile, it is kind of hard to get because it's made in Saltillo, Mexico, and it has all this variation in it. If it's the authentic kind that's made out of clay and it's really beautiful and heavy. Um, it can be hard to find though because you, you have to order from there. So if you want something like this, like a shape, what we were finding is that takes a long time to get. Like they don't just have that in stock places, but they do have the squares in stock. And so that is what we got because we didn't think we were going to be able to get that beautiful tile very, very fast. So this is what we have what we bought from Home Depot and we we're planning on doing them in like a diamond pattern like that to draw you into the bathroom. But now we have this tile. And so what do we do? <laughs> so it is actually, I'm gonna take you outside and show you how much we have because there is so, so much, like stacks on stacks on stacks. They told us that it was only three, like 200 square feet is way more. It's way more than what we bought here and what we bought was only square feet I want to say maybe a little bit more than that but this one we could possibly use in our entire living room where we left the vinyl wood floor because we eventually do want that to be saltillo and it would be beautiful in in this color so leaning towards this one the keeping it the same just because we have so many other shapes we have the arch in here and he painted it with this like water seal thing so that's why it's red in there it, it's just getting it ready for it to be tiled it smells pretty bad i probably shouldn't even be in there and then also that over there is the mirror which is the same pattern or the same shape as those tiles there so let me show you how much we have this is only half of it <laughs> it's so 
so much. Dominic's actually picking up the other stuff right now as we speak at like this millionaire's home. I am actually not kidding when I say that it was at a millionaire's home. It was in like the very nicest part of town in Bradenton. So very high end. And the people who were selling it was actually the contractor and his daughter. They just had a bunch of extra tiles and they actually had some other ones that they might be able to part with as well once they complete those projects if they have extra. So we will definitely be checking back with him. We got about 150 square feet of these tiles from Home Depot and it cost us about $280. And then the ones that we got Facebook marketplace were about 300 square feet and that only cost us 250. All right we've just been pulling way too many late nights but last night we sealed the first coat of seal so we're gonna go out Gideon's gonna help me do the second coat you're gonna watch okay you ready let's do it let's do what <laughs> seal the tile <laughs> <laughs> what? You're so funny. So we are using Olay Mexican Tile Sealer and you just put it into one of these pressurized containers that spray things and then you just spray it on there. You don't want to allow any puddling to occur per the instructions. So if any little puddles occurred, I just wiped those off with a cloth. I did notice that some of them just absorbed so much more of the seal on this first coat that we did last night. And then the second coat went on a lot smoother. So this is us just getting this project done. It was super windy and very sunny, but we got it done. Oh my gosh, I am sweating and it's hot outside and very windy and sunny just right where we're doing that tiling like sealing the tiles and so it is helping them dry really fast or you have three coats on them and you only technically have to have two so that's going well i'm gonna wrap up this video but first i'm gonna show you the tiling in the bathroom because as you can see i mean it's red right now because that's the like moisture blocker seal and then the tile is looking so good look at all of this so I love the, just the stacked look and how much variation there is in there. And then, I mean, this arch is just looking amazing. We did have a problem with the floor tile. I only ordered five boxes instead of 15. Pretty sure that was just a typo. I really don't know what happened. <laughs> so that's coming soon as well as our accent tile arrived. So I will show you guys that next week as well as the rest of the tiling in here will be done by then, I believe. We're going out of town this weekend, so. I'm gonna log off from this vlog of whatever this video is. I don't even know what anymore. <laughs> Bye guys.